What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we are locked in. I got a question for you. What's on your TV? This is season four of On My Block. The last hoorah for the whole crew. I'm talking Caesar, Monse, Ruby, Jamal. And one thing about these four is we know they get into a lot of trouble. They get into a lot of nonsense, but they find their way out of it. But before we get into the first episode, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of it, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, I mentioned this is season four. This is the last season so we have a whole new adventure that we have to go on so let's jump into it this is on my block season four episode one we start the episode off we got some music playing i'm like okay we in sunny california it ain't nothing better to do than play outside with the music playing the ice cream man pulling up oh yeah it's a good old time but one thing we know about on my block, on my block is gonna be some trouble. Now there's a kid that pulls up on a bicycle. He got boots on, he got the hoodie on, the jacket, nice bike too. But it looks like he's selling drugs to the kids. Now we don't know who this random guy is, but he's on the block and he's moving stuff and we know that ain't right. This dude's even moving it around the high school. We don't know who he is. People just walking up to him. Let me get that, let me get that. I'm talking about if kids is buying it, high schoolers is buying it this must be some good product because uh, everybody's getting a piece of it we all know caesar he was the leader of the crew but he transformed from a semi-decent kid to pure thugging it and he sees the guy on the bike he hops up into monte carlo i gotta go see who this dude is moving at work now we got goofy jamal we know jamal is usually the one making jokes he's the funny one in the crew well it turns out jamal became a star football player jamal got the girls now so you see him shirt up he dancing for the girls they like ooh, look at jamal of course we got jasmine jasmine is ruby's girlfriend and she's kind of controlling now ruby's trying to run for class president that's what he always wanted to do but the girls jasmine got working promoting ruby they're looking at jamal like hey jamal and she just going off on him like y'all supposed to be working for ruby now ruby he's running for class president that's what he always wanted to do when he got to high school now jasmine she's over here she's supporting him but she's telling him you got to change things up you ain't dressing right people aren't going to vote for you now jamal he's popular so everybody's looking at jamal and they're looking at ruby like uh okay you're running for president we really don't care one of jasmine's crazy ideas is hey if we look some of your news you know what I'm saying put some of your news out there on the internet that'll create some buzz and people will vote for you but that is not ruby's game ruby wants to win this election the right way politics going out there campaigning and winning but we know it's all a popularity thing and jasmine's trying to convince them but she's trying to tell them also we can do it your way but with a little bit of sexiness and she be taking advantage of my boy y'all know ruby a little guy too now oscar is the older brother to caesar and he goes by spooky also now him and his lady they're together and he hasn't talked to his brother after a while now you know they had a big falling out because there was some money that they had but it you know saying somehow came up missing him and caesar they had an argument they haven't talked now he's talking about opening up a restaurant in portland and moving out of california now everything up this coast california oregon washington a lot of people move from california on north and he's telling her hey we can move up that way we'll be closer to your family but he still hasn't talked to his brother about it i told y'all jamal he's a ladies man now he got one girl on the phone he's singing to her he's like hold on let me click over he starts singing to another girl but sings the wrong girl's name he's like oh wait oh uh, yeah he's basically getting caught up but he's getting girls now if that means anything Jamal's mom is dating the football coach. The football coach is saying Jamal is distracted. He could be a very good kid, but he's distracted by the girls in the election. Now, they got Jamal's dad on the speakerphone, and they're like, Jamal, you got to put the girls to the side. His mom, she's she's cool about it. She's talking about don't be getting caught up. If you're going to mess with the girls, don't get caught up. Oh, and FYI for everyone listening, the human face is not meant to be sit on just reference <laughs> you'll know when you watch the show but jamal is saying i'm running for president because i have to i'm a person of the people over at ruby's house him and jasmine they getting it in again it's supposed to be dinner time and you just hear that loud noise in there bumping and grinding you're like dang they in high school i used to do that kind of stuff but i wasn't doing what the parents was at the house well if i did my parents would be sleeping you know shh be quiet because you don't want to wake up nobody in the house and you don't want to have that awkward conversation with your parents 
Ruby and Jasmine come out and they have to have the awkward conversation with the family and the mom she just comes out and says it stop touching genitals with each other and the dad makes some weird comment like hey it's okay to touch yourself wink wink you know what I'm talking about son so he's sitting here with his girlfriend and you know you kind of feel awkward because you, you're, <laughs> you're looking at your girl and she's hearing your parents talk to you about sex that you just had with her now jasmine she hears it and before she leaves she's like oh it was an honor i never had a slut shame by a family member before so for her this was a, a monumental moment in her life but for ruby it was awkward after jasmine leaves ruby comes in the living room and he's listening and you hear the news talking about there's a body now if any of y'all remember there was a body that was buried in the woods cochillos so he has his grandma turn it up and he's listening like uh wait a minute that's kind of uh, the area we know about oscar's girl sets up a dinner to have caesar come over because she knew he wasn't going to go talk to his brother when he gets over there this little awkward moment comes because these two they aren't seeing eye to eye now we know spooky trying to move him and his girl up to portland and they didn't mention it now oscar he's looking at it like i'm trying to start fresh caesar's looking at it like where'd you get that money from you told us you didn't have the money so he's thinking of maybe the money he did steal it and he just kept it and now he's trying to move but that ain't the case he said he got a loan and he hustled hard for it now they're trying to explain to caesar that oscar sold his car he's making moves he took out a loan but caesar he ain't leaving because he still doesn't have that trust for his brother now we don't know if he really took the money we don't know if the money really went up missing. We don't know what's going on. But we do know Oscar's trying to get out of here and Caesar, he ain't. Jamal's mom is talking to him about running for president. Now, him and Ruby, they haven't talked. They had a falling out. So his mom is saying, you know that's what Ruby always wanted to do. You guys should come together and try to figure things out together instead of going against each other. And she says somebody's going to get hurt. Now, from Jamal's standpoint, and we all been there as kids, you get into it with somebody, you're like, man, we not gonna talk. He's saying, me and Ruby, we aren't friends and we won't be friends ever again. Oscar shows up to the block, Caesar's out there with the Vatos and they just out here big kicking it. And they like, hold up, hold up, what are you doing here? And Oscar's like, man, I wanna talk to my brother one-on-one. -on -one. But Caesar's like, you can say that in front of everybody. But he's like, come on, man, let me just talk to you. Let me holler at you real quick. He's just coming to tell Caesar to watch his back. He needs to lay low because at the end of the day, these people, they, they may show loyalty to you, but they may not have your back at all times. So that's all his brother is trying to get him to understand because he's been there before and he knows how the game goes. Caesar's with his new little girl, you know what I'm saying? They in the Monte Carlo and she's very, very supportive of our dog. Now he gets a text message that they found the guy on the bike. We don't know who's moving this work, but what she tells him, Oh, they found him? Go handle business. Now, Ruby and Jamal, we know that they were close friends. They haven't talked. They had a falling out. This is common with kids. Now, Jamal, he became popular. He's a football star, so he's hanging around the jocks. And you know how that goes. Jocks versus nerds, uncool kids. It's, it's common. So, Ruby wants to come over here and he wants to have a talk with him. But he doesn't want to tell everybody that it's going to be a personal conversation about, you know, there might be a body found. So he just tells him, I want to talk about the politics and the campaign that we have. But Jamal ain't trying to hear that. They start cracking jokes and Ruby just, he can't take it. Of course, Jasmine comes over, it messes it up. Now, Ruby, he trying to handle this as a man, talk to Jamal one on one. Get whatever's on his chest off his chest. But she comes over. Oh, we ain't having that. We gonna win this. Oh, you need more boost than us. Jamal looks at it like, okay, Ruby, you must be her bitch. Mm-hmm. You doing everything she says. And Ruby's like, oh, I just told her I don't want to do this campaign the way she wants to do it. But Jasmine don't care. She gonna do it her way. Whoever this kid is. He got the Bronco 3.0 or 8.0. I don't know what it is. It's a clean bike, though. But he making them moves. He got the stuff in his pocket. Caesar sees him. And you already know it's about to get ugly. Throws him on the ground and gets to whooping on him. He talking about, you know who block you on? You on my block. Bat, bat, bat. I'm talking about he whooping on him. Dude ain't even stand a chance. He ain't fighting back. He just fell on the ground. Didn't try to get up. Nothing. Just catching punches to the face. And, of course, the cops pull up. Whoop, whoop. You already know what that is. That's the sound of the police. 
Now, Jasmine put together a whole campaign thing. Everybody that's against Jamal. Now, most of these people that work here are women. These women are the ones that mess with Jamal. Some of them thought they were Jamal's only one. Some of them broke up with their boyfriends because they thought they were dating Jamal. So all of them are trying to get back. And there's even a guy in there. And we're like, whoa, is Jamal gay? They're like, nah, he's not gay, but his girlfriend left him to talk to Jamal. So he's like, hey, one of these women in here, I'm going to be able to pick up on. Jasmine put together a whole smear campaign, and this show is actually showing you how easy it is to take a black man and make him look bad. Yeah, Jamal has a lot of women, but they call him toxic. They saying since he sleeps with a lot of women, he's bad. He doesn't need to run for president. He's all about himself. He's self-centered. He's toxic. Toxic Turner. And Ruby sees it, he's like, no, nah, I don't want to put nothing out like that. That's not Jamal. But you know, if somebody puts together a campaign and they put it out there, perception is reality. So if they see this, man, this guy Jamal is a bad guy. We're not voting for him. Not only are people not voting for him, but then you start getting the law involved, the principal involved. It just looks bad. Caesar's in jail. He get one phone call. He don't remember nobody's number, but he does remember one number. And it was a young lady by the name of Monse. Now he calls, no answer. But you want to know why? Because Monse sees the phone call and it's saved in her phone as detention center. So <laughs> Caesar's been in here a few times. So she sees it. Her friend asks, who is that? Oh, it's nobody. But Oscar comes up there and he bails his brother out. He goes ahead and picks him up. First thing Caesar says to him is, hey man, where's my money? Oscar's like, dude, I don't have that damn money, bro. You're not going to thank me or anything for getting you out of here. They have a flashback to the falling out between the two. And he's trying to tell them back then, I don't have the money. People think I have it, but I don't have the money. It's gone. I lost everything. Now, Caesar, he was like, look, you can take my money. I don't care. But the rest of my friends, I want to make sure that they get their cut. But he's trying to explain to him, I just don't have the money. And this is where the falling out came between these two. Ruby sees Caesar going to the bathroom. He goes in there. Jasmine runs into our boy Jamal. And she's like, yeah, he's going in there to get Caesar's vote. Now, when Jamal gets in there, all he can think about is the vote. Like, oh, I see what kind of game we're playing. But no, 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 no. They're actually here because Ruby is talking about the body. They found the body. And Caesar's like, yeah. It's, it's serious. We're going to have to lay low. But you felt this important to talk to me, Ruby? You haven't talked to me in two years? So right now, everybody, they're on their own page. But they're all in this together. Jamal just flat out said, yeah, I ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> we get another flashback to when Jamal and Ruby fell out with Caesar over the money. Because they know that his brother is a thug. This is before Caesar was converted all the way over. So they're like, man, either you and your brother have it or your brother has it. But... He's a known criminal, so he could be lying to us for our money. So at this point, they're like, man, we're just not going to talk to you ever again because they didn't know if they could trust Caesar and his brother. Now, when Jamal comes out the bathroom, it looks like Jasmine went ahead and put that campaign. <sighs> she went ahead and put it out. So now the whole school has it. Toxic Turner, the football team is clowning them. <laughs> so for him. It's on. It's war between him and Ruby now. He wants to be that class president. There you go. Episode one of On My Block season four. Let me know what you think about the whole crew and them all being on different pages now. Do you think they're going to come together and make something happen? Let me know what y'all think below. I'm ODIJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.